Hey everybody, a little escape up north. The uh, Gold Coast, Broad Beach, uh, oh well, just walking towards the Surf's Paradise. Not bragging, just, you know, had to get away from Sydney. And there was an opportunity, so I'm here. Uh, it's not about me though. Uh, the Reserve Bank of Australia re raised the official cash interest rate by uh, 0.25% to 2.6%. Was that expected? Uh, apparently it was uh, 0.5 or half percent was expected so double then what they did uh, why didn't they go the full half percent that they somehow thought was appropriate when they I don't know the market expected or whatever I think that they're too scared that uh, no one's gonna be able to afford to buy the houses property at the current prices uh, we know it has to be that they, they're too afraid they probably don't want to be, unlike the uh, Fed in the US, they were probably too afraid of uh, being blamed for the next recession, which is probably going to come. I'm not, I'm not being negative. There's going to be, again, opportunity during this recession, but um, a lot of people will lose money and some will gain. Unfortunately, what happened during 2020 is that the ones in the know and uh, the the already rich got more richer and the rest of us got poorer so and that'll probably happen this time it happens every time every recession is their opportunity to jump in and uh, buy stuff up for cheap uh, so there's no reason to expect that that's not gonna happen this time so uh, the only thing we can hope for is that we're gonna be some of those uh, who join not join the club, let's not kid ourselves, but you know, uh, try and, and get the, uh, the little nibbles that are left over uh, after the sharks have gone through the kill. Uh, that's all we can hope for. But yeah, that's what I think. They, they haven't gone the full uh, half percent because they their sa sacred cow is in jeopardy. The prices are dropping. I think northern beaches in, in Sydney have dropped most officially by 13 odd percent. And uh, that's not a good thing, like I said, because the property only works if it keeps going. Even if it flattened uh, and, and it was flat for years, that just wouldn't work because that's not how Ponzi schemes work. And this is a one big debt Ponzi scheme. And what better way to get everybody into debt is than uh, having these big, you know, buildings and uh, dwellings that we actually need to live. Uh, go up astronomical and the only way to obtain one or two or three is through credit and that's what this system tri thrives on so it, it is the credit that they get us into and uh, it's it's just so obvious uh, I, I, I don't think anyone doesn't see that anymore you know how many average wages it takes to buy an average home in the average Australian town and your average Australian town really is Sydney, Melbourne, maybe Brisbane, all right, capital cities, and that's where the most of the population works. So, you know, when you say the average is, is I don't know, 600,000, oh, no, sorry, a million, well, that, that only gets you so far in Sydney anyway. Um, so enough of me. Uh, that's what they did uh, in Australia, at least. They don't want to be blamed. In America, they don't really care because they got that black rock and black uh, stone big hedge funds, big money actually plowing into um, residential property, which is, I don't think, something that happens in, in Australia. In Australia, the most they can, the closest they can get to it is through these uh, property trusts to buy these big buildings and hotels and, um, uh, you know, the apartment buildings and manage the service departments and that sort of stuff so um, that's all take care all